Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about how to enable or create security rules in Fusion General Ledger module. So let me present present more. Yeah. So for that, first we need. Uh, so these are the list of setups are required in order to perform this security con security rules. <clears throat> The first need to be identify the value set code for account specific. So here, first we need to identify the, the specific value set code, which account we are going to use for the, to enable security rules under the value set codes and enable security rules for identified value set code for specific segment. Create condition policy assign roles and rules for the conditions and map policies to conditions save and submit and finally we need to run deployment of chart of accounts assign roles to user which role we supposed to assign to the user with effect of the security rules sign out and sign in Finally, we can perform one test case to see the result either our security rules will be working as we expected or not. So required information, role name, general accountant and code. So this is a cedar code which Oracle has given to us and chart of account structure where what we have defined for the vision operations and value set code, corporate cost center. So these are the minimum setups are required in order to perform this task. Let's get into application. First we'll collect, so what are the role and Code are, codes are required to enable it first. So for that, navigate to security console. Go to user, take any of the user. Edit, add role, type. This is the role, general accountant, and this is the code for a GL, general ledger accountant job. So that is what I took here, right? And done, go back. Go to setup under maintenance. Go to global search. Search for manage chart of account. Here I can see chart of account structures and such instances, value set values and value sets. Just click on value set. <clears throat> So in this page, we can identify which are the codes we supposed to use or which are the codes are mapped with your chart of accounts. <laughs> Here I said, corporate account. Let's see corporate, start with the corporate. Let's see how many things here. These are all mapped with our chart of accounts. So let me take, Cost center, select, click on edit. So now you can see here, security enabled. This checkbox is now in the disable mode. So now we are going to enable this mode and we'll perform the other setups.
فاهم already somebody used this one so that i will not want to use again same I'll go back i'll take the different one take account uh, company yeah, let me take company Yeah, no one used. So now I selected or I identified. So I want to use security rules for my company account segment value. So just click on enable. So this checkbox will enable automatically. The moment when you check the checkbox for this one, enter. Let's see security rule. Or let's say yes, sir underscore company okay. save so now we got the edit data securities enabled click on that in this place in this area i would say this screen we can use to create data security rules along with the conditions and policy here. Click on create. Give the your name of the rule. Let's say here, yes sir underscore company rule. So display name, how it is going to be display for you. In description same I will give. And here you can say condition type filter or SQL. Um, yes. Another one is match or or any. Let's say any. And click on conditions. Select one value here. And select operator as between. Or I would say only one equal to. Here you can choose any one of the operator based on your requirement so now i am going to use equal to 101 it means that for my user i want to give the access to only the specific segment value is that 101 is the primary segment value save yeah this is how we have to provide the conditions and go to policies click on plus symbol here I can notice there are three tabs are there. We need to provide all the three tabs here. Name, SR underscore company, or start date when you're going to use this specific rule. Ninth, today itself, and the model name automatically populated as a general ledger model. Save and close. So I, I told you right. Here we need to provide role and tools as well as and create a role which role you want to enable the security role here i can provide the rule which i took here right this is the rule code take the rule code here rule code and here application is that fcm click on search select apply Click on OK. Save and close. Again, we missed this one, right? So that's where conditions can give any. Here you can choose the condition value here, row set as single value or multiple values or all values. Let's say here what we are given. This is the one somebody has already given, right? So I don't want to use this one. So which way I created some multiple. Check our conditions are available or not. So this is what we created, right? Yes, sir. Underscore security rule underscore company R. 
select save okay and now you can save the record system will allow you to save the record so now what we did we created the policy and map the policy a policy to our conditions as well save and submit now you can see confirmation database resource sr underscore company t updated successfully say okay go back to your structure instance search for our kff and select and click on deploy flexi field just wait until complete 100 percent here so that our changes will get affected So this is the my business requirement. Okay, in the real time as well as we have to perform in this fashion only. There isn't any other changes at all. So first we need to identify the which segment you are going to use the security rule. So once you identified, then like you know you can go ahead and perform all the steps what we did here. And I want to tell you one more information here. Generally, the clients will use the custom roles, right? The custom roles. The custom roles, they can enable this kind of all the security rules, like, and then they can assign those, the specific custom roles to the, the, the respective resources who can have or who can perform the certain activities to the specific businesses. So that's where we're going to use the security role to restrict or like, you know, make sure that the user should not have the any other data access set or like you know other any access in the production environment to not to pass the any other entry solver. So still it will take some time to complete the percentage of the hundred. <coughs> Say, okay now. So it got done, right? It got completely successfully completed. So now just click on done. Go to navigator. Click on security console. Look users. Set the username as Rahul, which I created. So this is the user, click on edit, click and add role, search for the general content. This is the one, as a seated one, select add role membership, click on done. Save and close. Done. Go to setup and maintenance. Assign the data access set to the user. Otherwise, you will not be able to access the specific role. Go to manage data access set. You can search user. The symbol, Rahul. Select the role. This is a general content. Provide the context as a data access set. 
Yep, you yes. That's just it. Save and close. Click on done. So now we did perform all the steps what we have shown in the PPT. So now what we have to do it. Sign out and sign in. Login with our user, Rahul. Now we will do the test case. General accounting, click on journals, go to task, click on create journal. Just provide any sample thing. Test. Sir, rules. Copy paste. And you can see this all the things already got picked up. And ledger is that. Yes, primary ledger. Category adjustment for time being. So now we have enabled primarily, I mean, it's a primary segment balance and segment value, right? Just see that. Click on search for code combination. See here. Now we can see only the, the specific code, company code for him, he or she, right? So this is how we can restrict the, any of the segment value here. Any of the segments we can fix it by enabling the security rules at any point of time. So the benefit of this functionality is that easy to manage and accurately enter the transactions by the specific resources or I would say business users in the production. So select and now we can see all remaining all the segments will be populated. As for the list of values, here I already given some kind of like security rules here. That's why it is not populating. And you can see here, see how you can see all of them. Here also you can see all of them. Because somebody already restricted, so that's why it is not coming. And here you can see this is the one, right? So this is how we can enable the security rules to the users. So that's all about security console. Sorry, security rules. Cancel it. Go back. Cancel. Go to home page. Yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching my video. Please do subscribe if not sub uh, subscribe it so that we'll be uh, getting a lot of more videos on the all the finance modules, which will be really helpful for the, the real time also. Thank you.